Hi, welcome to End Credit Reviews, and what the hell happened to the History Channel? I know I'm not the first to ask this question, and I figured that because it's about 10 years since the History Channel started to go downhill, I think I should discuss the following. What the History Channel was like when it began, what I used to love about it, why it has gone downhill, and how it can be saved. The History Channel began in the mid-90s. It was unlike most TV channels of the time because it focused primarily on history. Most of the time it would be on World War II, and this led to some people jokingly calling it the Hitlery Channel. The History Channel was of course more than that. There would be documentaries on historical events, from the Civil War to the French Revolution, and so on and so forth. Sometimes they did have shows on historical inventions like Tales of the Gun and Modern Marvels, showed various inventions and their importance in history. During this time and into the first half of the 2000s, I began watching it. I remember that they would discuss things that I wasn't taught in school. To the history of one of the most evil people like Joseph Stalin, to the historical figure that inspired Dracula in fiction. They also shed light on things that I didn't even knew had interesting history, such as the history of comic books, to the story behind our favorite holidays that we celebrate each year, to even cereal. Yeah, who knew that the history of what we typically eat for breakfast could be so interesting? Sometimes they did pick some odd choices to talk about out, like Armageddon, the Antichrist, and monsters from mythology, they were not the typical specials, but they did have history behind them. I'm not into architecture whatsoever, but the series that they had on it was fascinating to say the least. So when and why did it go downhill? Reality TV was a thing that boomed in the 2000s, and it was inevitable that it would come to the History Channel. The beginning of the end was Ice Road Truckers. It had nothing to do with history in the slightest, but somehow got huge ratings. Thus, many other reality TV shows followed in its wake. To be fair, some of them have something to do with history. It's fine if you like these shows, but in all seriousness, what does chopping down trees, going through swamps, and driving trucks have anything to do with history? If this was on the Discovery Channel or National Geographic, then it would be fine. It has strayed from what it was originally supposed to be to begin with. I know that things change, but at what cost do you sacrifice quality and credibility for ratings? But sometimes there are specials that show a glimmer of hope. The Men Who Built America showed the giants of industry that were responsible for the Industrial Revolution in America, and The Ultimate Guide to the Presidents talked about things that I never knew about the Presidents of the United States. But that doesn't mean that they are out of the woods. Baby boomers had a huge, tremendous impact on how we view the world. Revolt, that's very American. When you see the sexualization of female characters, most of the comic writers and artists are male, and, and also mostly white. Here is my ultimate point. I used to love the History Channel and it got me into history. If it was like this when I was a kid, then I probably would not have watched it, and I would not be majoring history in college right now. Hopefully we'll see more of this and less of that. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. So anyway, thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We air this shit because we despise our audience! Are there other ways to make money? Yes, of course, yes, yes, yes. But they all require more work. This is easy.